And now the 73rd Florida Derby. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Florida Derby. Fierceness was away perfectly from his outside draw. Will use some speed to try to get over. Meanwhile, it's Grand Mo the first who's at the rail and in front with Ladombro right alongside. Fierceness, he's on the accelerator early as Johnny V. He's up and around horses and he wants to lead. So Fierceness will land the front in the run to the opening quarter. In between horses, Ladombro out three wide is catalytic and Grand Mo the first is at the rail. They're followed by Real Macho, who races outside of Hades. Hades is about three and a half lengths off the speed, ahead of Iris's dream. Covered up between horses is Conquest Warrior, and the early trailer is Frankie's Empire. The opening quarter just 24 seconds flat. Fierceness on his eight game so far. He's a length in front over Catalytic, a wide second. In between horses, Ladon Bro Grandmo, the first is at the rail. Real Macho works out in the center, racing in front of Hades. Then Iris's Dream and Conquest Warrior still out the back, but in the clear is Frankie's Empire. They went the half in 47 and 2. They have the favorite to catch. It's Fierceness to the far turn on top by a length and a half. Working harder is Catalytic at the rail. Grand Mo the first. Ladon Bro has to quicken, but he's not. At the rail, it's Conquest Warrior trying to launch his bid. Frankie's Empire is wide on the course, but Johnny V still sitting pretty on Fierceness who tries to sneak away. Three quarters, 111 and 1. They run to the 5 16ths, and Fierceness, he is getting away. He's now four in front. Catalytic is second, Grand Mo the first is third. On the outside, Frankie's Empire, Conquest Warrior at the rail, but they all have too much to do. Fierceness is putting on a show in Hallandale today. Fierceness, the real Fierceness, has showed up to South Florida, and he's crushing them in the Florida Derby. Fierceness geared down and on his way to Louisville. Fierceness authoritatively in the Florida Derby. He never had a threat. Catalytic was second. It's a very close photo for third between Grand Mo the first and Conquest Warrior. Hades to complete the high five in 148 and one. The real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just saw our Kentucky Derby favorite. You, I wouldn't have predicted that he would have had that easy of a time on the front end. Hades, the other speed horse in the race, got away poorly, got caught behind horses in the first turn, while uh, Fierceness had an easy trip over the rail in soft fractions. It was no surprise. Randy and I yeah. looked at each other. Randy said he'll win by eight. I thought five, probably more than eight. Yeah, when we saw the fractions go up, 24 for the quarter, and he's cruising along on the lead, right? He'll never it, get that pace again. He wins the Breeders' Cup Juvenile by six against Muth, and it gets much tougher competition than this. So he's going to win this by eight or ten, and he drew off and ran exactly like he's been training in the morning. So let's take a look back at the, the start. Jerry, you talked about how crucial this had been for him in all of his races coming into this one. He's behaving in there. He's not moving. His head is straight, looking down the racetrack. His legs are square, which is what you want as a jockey. Just pointing him down the track, and he breaks running. And, of course, then if you break running, no horse is going to pinch you in. He's comfortably now starting to ease his way over. John Velasquez is jockey just in the three path. And by the time he gets to the middle of the turn, he'll be on the lead comfortably without using him in a very slow and comfortable pace. Meanwhile, Hades broke out a little bit and got bumped at the start, found himself behind horses first turn, and I think Hades wound up finishing last.